So we have a JK flip flop here. The S and R are as always active low. The clock is uh, rising edge in this case and G and Q bar. So these are the wave shifts clock S, R, J, K. So I have to draw Q. Now both S and R are active low. So when it's low, it will be active. So let's start here. Let's first identify the clocks. The clocks will be this one here. rising edge and S and R are active here R is active and S was active here so here assuming that Q will be 1 initially but then when an S has become inactive R has become active so in this point at this point same S is no more active it has become 1 while R has become 0 so it will go down and it is active even the, when the clock comes R is active so the clock will not matter it will keep going there keep going there here again this is R is becoming 1 but S is becoming 0 so S is becoming active so as soon as S is becoming acting, so these are all asynchronous, so immediately at this point Q will go high. So Q will go high and again here clock is coming but doesn't matter because S is active so it will remain high. After that in this region when the this clock comes, this clock here, both are inactive, S and R are inactive because both are high so we will look what J and K are so J is 1 K is 0 so it will stay 1 it will stay 1 but again here before the clock is coming R is becoming active so just at that point this will go down Q will go down and again this clock doesn't matter so it will stay down and that was the last clock uh, I will just erase that part so that was the last clock and sorry it will stay like that so this is Q and in this one we have seen that Q and R, S and R have dominated this active here active here and then again active this region and also here so these are the points where S, either S or R was active and both of them were not never active together but if they were S would dominate.